Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got the how to make um Naruto Shadow Clones. It's a basic clone thing. We're just pretty much showing us how to uh, make a clone of an NPC. They're gonna spawn right next to them with a little smoke effect and stuff. Um, before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. We're halfway to 10,000. That's for sure. Let's keep going. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Okay, so first things first, of course, you're going to need like a smoke effect. Well, it is, this is optional, but you guys know how in the show there's a um, little smoke effect. I got this effect from the uh, the toolbox and stuff. So, yeah, if you if you do want to know how to make this exactly, then here, here's this stuff. Here are the properties and stuff if you want exactly like mine and stuff. Again, I didn't make this. I just got this from the toolbox, but yeah. So, you're going to want your smoke effect. We're going to need to insert a remote event into replicated storage. You guys can rename said remote event. Uh shadow clone event or now let's say clone event right we're going to name it clone event we're going to open up starter player then insert a local script into starter player scripts we're going to rename set script clone script in parentheses put local boom then we can delete print hello world and then before i even get into this first things we're well, not first and first but i just want to say what's up to everybody who's watching the premiere right now and stuff because i know people god be, i'll be reading all your messages so for sure keep sending messages if you be watching the premieres like i do be reading all your messages and stuff but anyway um let's go ahead and type local uis let's get the user input service is equal to game get service user input service then we're going to need to get the clone remote event so let's say local clone event is equal to game dot replicated storage wait for child clone event right then i'm going to set up a function with the user input service i'm going to say uis that input began connect function in parentheses put input comma processed enter we're going to say if input dot user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot keyboard and process oh sorry and not processed enter pretty much means that the player is not typing in chat then we're going to say if input the key code is equal to enum dot key code dot e it's up to you guys whatever key binding you want to go with enter we're then going to say clone event fire server in quotation marks we're going to name the event shadow clone right and then we're done with the local script we can then move to the service script let's insert a service script into service script service and then we're going to name this clone script and in parentheses put server boom i'm going to delete print hello world i'm going to first get the twin service i'm going to say local ts with the game get service twin service and just like on the local script you're going to get the clone remote event let's say local clone event is equal is equal to game the replicated storage away for child clone event right then i'm going to set up the function i'm going to say clone event dot on server event connect function in parentheses put plr short for the player comma event Type enter right and then you're gonna create a variable for the player's character. You're gonna say local character is equal to player dot character, right? Then you're gonna say if event type is equal to quotation marks shadow clones, name the event, then enter. We're going to create the clone. Uh first thing first, of course, we need a rig. So you can click avatar rig builder and then select a rig, whichever one is your you know preferred type, then you can just throw it in inside of server storage. First things first, we're going to clone the rig. We're going to say local shadow clone is equal to game .service storage rig clone. Then we're going to clone over the smoke effect. So smoke clone is equal to wait. I just actually peeped something. Wait, yo, I actually just thought about something. We don't even need to clone over the smoke effect. I just thought about something. Anyway, think about this before the video. Actually, hold on, guys. Just put the smoke effect inside of the human eye root part, right? And then we're just going to delete. Oh, my God. I didn't even think about that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if there's a line. Let's see if there's, like, two lines of code. I didn't even think about that. But anyway, so just put your smoke effect inside the uh, inside of the shadow clone. And then we're going to get the description. So, like, you know, of course, that the, the rig we just copied over is going to, like, it's going to match the player's appearance. So we're going to say local description is equal to game dot players get you're looking for um you're looking for get humanoid description make sure you do from user id right and then of course you're going to say player dot user id and then we're going to set the name of the shadow clone so shadow clone dot name is equal to player dot name dot 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 quotation marks space clone just so you know whose clone belongs to then we're going to say we're going to say shadow clone pivot to character dot humanoid root part dot c frame i am c frame dot new you're going to want to adjust these values depending on where you want the clone to be 
I'll say at five, comma negative one, negative one. This pretty much ensures that it'll spawn like to the um to the right of the player, right? And then after this, we're going to parent it. We're going to say shadow clone dot parent, you know, parent to the workspace. Then I'm going to then I'm going to apply the description. I'm going to say shadow clone dot or sorry, no, we're going to say shadow clone dot humanoid apply description and then you're gonna put the description there you have to apply description after after it's been parented to the works because you can't do it beforehand and stuff right then we're gonna throw a task that way because we, we and then i'm gonna do one second because we only want the smoke to appear for you know just like a quick little second and then disappear so we're gonna say um uh shadow clone dot human root part dot smoke destroy and then boom, let's go ahead and test to make sure it works. As always, if you guys want access to any of my scripts and models, you guys can come either a channel member or a Discord subscriber link to either one of those options can be found in the description. So it's very basic and stuff. Like honestly, like I don't know if it'd be, but I don't know if it'd be better. But let's see. So boom, there you, you guys see we have the smoke. We have the smoke like effect and stuff. Probably I should have probably got that sound effect. Dang, I probably should got the sound effect. If I didn't add a sound effect, I could really like if I open the toolbox and like what's audio is like a uh, shadow clone because i know they have this mm. no well the point is if you wanted to get a sound effect you could just you, you know you get it from the, uh, the toolbox and you could like play it you could just say like uh you know sound effect play right there and stuff like that but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave like subscribe i, I definitely get you guys with a part two of this where like the clone follows you and stuff if yeah, that's what you guys want so yeah just let me know and i'll see you guys next video thank you for watching